first find the center of the bridle. Uh, I think it is marked on both bridles. This is the, exactly the same whether you're using the smaller bridle or the heavy bridle. Then take the tow line, pass it around the bridle twice and tie the side of the loop that's around the bridle onto the side of the loop in the tow line with about half a dozen turns of a light cord similar to this. And tie it off. If it pulls that tight that you ultimately have to cut the light, uh, bit of light cord off, that's no problem. So that at the finish, when this pulls tight, this makes like a fist around the bridle, a tight fist around the bridle. That then keeps the knot tight on the bridle so that it doesn't fall loose every time the, the tow line goes slack, but there is still enough give in that uh, knot around the bridle that if it needs to reposition, if uh, things change and, and it needs to slide along that line, it, can, it will still slide along to wherever an equal the strain on both sides of the bridle. So it keeps a firm hold on it, but it doesn't pull it tight enough to stop the rope, the bridle sliding through should the bridle need to reposition. But it needs to be done so that this can slide down into a fist, like a fist around the, the bridle. That one loop round uh, on the thin cord, that was just to show what's going on. Yeah, that's just you hold it, that just hold it. Yeah, you normally have half a dozen. Okay. So, centre of the bridle, round once, round twice. So effectively one full turn. Yeah, yeah, one full turn, and then tie it, the two sides of the loops together yeah. with the thin cord thin cord, tie those with half a dozen, uh, wraps around, not enough so to prevent this from pulling down and pulling tight here. It then pulls and forms like a claw around the bridle, keeps the bridle firm at that spot, but not that tight that it will not slide along the bridle if, if necessary. So if the boat changes its position and it needs to find a new spot to keep equal strain on both sides of the bridle, it will do. It will move down the, it will move down the bridle. But it will not come slack as you go over swells and the strain comes off. Self-adjusting. Yes, self-adjusting. I've used this method for 14 years. I've never had it fail.